Hello guys, I am Kuldeep Singh Sekho and uh, today I am going to uh, demonstrate the data type casting. In the previous session, uh, we discussed the variables. Now type casting is uh, just assigning a value of uh, one data type to the another data types. So when we assign a value of some data type to the another type of data type variable, uh, either it loses some value or uh, some time it did not loss any value. So depending upon that it's of two kind implicit casting and explicit casting. So implicit casting also called the widening when a smaller data type is assigned to a bigger data type like byte occupies one byte of memory and when one byte of data is assigned to the short and short occupies two byte of memory it means a smaller thing is going to be placed in a bigger container so that's why it's called the winding conversion uh, whereas the explicit casting is a reverse of it now implicit casting happens automatically with the by the help of JVM JVM automatically convert the bigger data smaller data type into a bigger data type without losing any value or any procedure so you may look at the uh, size of the different variable for the uh, remembering or recalling character two bytes occupation and byte occupied one byte short two byte int 4 byte long 8 byte float also occupies 4 byte but it can store a floating value also whereas the double occupies 8 byte of memory and boolean 1 byte so let us start with some practical example so let us take one uh, simple class now this time let us name it as demo of or typecasting simply typecasting simply typecasting now let us take one main method and here is the body of main method Now let us take one variable of type byte and assign it some value. Let us take it 1 to 3. So now this output. Let us this out it. It's a and let us take one another variable of type short now you know short occupies uh, let us take it as such and its a value 999 now it occupies one byte sorry one byte memory and short occupies two bytes now if we assign short the value of B. Now, as such, having the value of this B, let us just out it. Save it with the name of
now compile it and run it now you have noticed that the it has value 1 2 3 let us write some text with it value of sh is plus uh, here plus is uh, working as concatenation operator it's a joining a string value with a variable integer value so it's a concatenating two value now let us again compile it now the value of sh is 1 2 3 uh, which the 1 2 3 was the value of b a byte type of variable now when we assign a shorter data type short data type to a bigger data type it happens automatically it did not produce any type of error now let us uh, make it reverse now this time b is going to have value of sh the value of sh is assigned to b now the value of the b is b now let us notice that whether it it is assigned or not assigned let us recompile it now this time our compiler is generating one value because we are placing a value of bigger data type that is double nine double nine to a shorter data type that is called one byte you know that the one byte value can store only minus 128 to 127 value whereas the value of short sh variable is short variable is double nine double nine which is going to be assigned to this b so it means this is not possible we cannot put a bigger value into a small variable or a we cannot put a big amount in a single small container so now it's a producing error but in some condition when we actually know that we can assign this value let us take this value double nine double nine now this value is small but compiler knows that it is a short variable means two byte variable and it cannot be assigned to a two byte value to a single byte value so let us again compile it now again the error is same so for the this conversion where the double nine value can be stored in the uh, b which is which is a small uh, dat data type variable so it can be done with the help of typecasting now we want to store byte so let us convert it into the byte with the help of this round braces and writing byte in between this now this short variable is converted to the byte and this time our compiler will not generate any type of error it's called typecasting now let us run this program now this time the value of b is 99 now it's called the it's called the typecasting same thing can be happened with the float let us take a value float f now the value of f is let us suppose 3.14 f now float has 
a memory of 4 byte. Now float occupies 4 byte of values. Now let us take one more variable of integer type. Let us take it i and assign it some value 3. Let us take it 300. Now the both the variable occupies the same memory size that is 4 byte but the difference is that the float can have a decimal value a points value but integer cannot have a value in points so let us try to assign this value of f to i I assign f now the value of i is i now the value of i is 300 but after assigning this it become 3.14 but this time again the integer cannot have a points value now again compile it this time again incompatible type possibly lossy conversion from the float to int our compiler is saying that you may lose the data when you will put a floating value to a integer type now we know that we are going to lose the value it will lose the precision 3.14 but still we want to assign this value to a integer data type then we will convert it to the float now we sorry now we are going to convert it into the integer now this 3.14 value is converted to integer it means it is not going to have any decimal value now let us again compile it and this time the value of i is only 3 and not 3.14 which was the value of f but it is converted to integer and the rest of value without precision is stored to i but the in the reverse of it we can assign the value of i to f without any type casting or this type cast casting happens automatically by the compiler now this time sorry i have to write this the value of f now this time the value of f is 300 the value of f is 300 which was the value of integer variable i the similar way we can convert the other type of variables like float to double and float and double has same decimal type value that can be assigned automatically by the compiler and in reverse of when we do the explicit type casting or narrowing conversion we need to convert it explicitly so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, next time we will proceed with the next topic of java um, that may be the looping concepts and uh, thank you for today and we will meet soon again thank you